Skip it up and that up. So good news, the PlayStation 5 won't sound like a jet engine like some people's PlayStation 4 did, because they're actually going to put proper cooling in it. Yay, Sony! Let's get into it. Today's video is brought to you by the Sabrent Rocket Nano hard drive. This is a hard drive. It's the size of a thumb drive and it stores up to two terabytes of storage depending on the model you purchase and it has up to a thousand megabytes per second speeds. It also comes in this awesome case and includes a USB-A to USB-C cable and a Thunderbolt 3 cable to really take advantage of how fast this drive truly is. Affiliate link below in the description. So I remember people like Broken Games HD saying that his PlayStation 4 sounded like a jet engine. And I've seen a bunch of YouTube videos where PlayStation 4s, when they heated up, they sounded like they were about to take off and fly away. Not everybody's, but it's not an uncommon thing for a PlayStation 4 to get loud when it needs to dissipate a lot of heat. Well, with the PlayStation 5, they are looking to mitigate that and make it much quieter. This is what comicbook.com has to say about it. The PlayStation 5 will not replicate one of the PS4's biggest issues, or at least that's what a new report about the console insinuates. As you may know, the PlayStation 4 is notoriously loud, and this more often than not is because it's overheating. The PS4 not only lacks a good cooling system, it's very easy for dust to collect inside it and rapidly speed up the heating process. Go look on the internet, there's a ton of people fixing their own PlayStation 4s, and there's a bunch of dust bunnies and many other things inside of them, like cockroaches. That just means people are disgusting, but anyway, let me continue. When the console gets hot, the fan kicks in, and when it gets really hot, the fan really kicks in. And this process is loud enough, but if it happens too often, the fan can get damaged and become even louder. It's a pain, but thankfully it sounds like this won't be an issue with the PS5. According to a new report, many of the PlayStation 5's components have already been locked down, including the cooling system, which will cost a few dollars per unit. And while this may not sound expensive, if for a cooling unit, it is. Usually you'd expect less than a dollar to be spent on a cooling system. So the fact that Sony is splashing multiple dollars on a fancy cooling system is pretty noteworthy. The PS5 is likely to have some pretty powerful innards, and so it will be important to ensure the console doesn't heat up too much, which in turn causes it to sound like a jet is taking off in your room. Like I've said before, as a person who owns several Zen 2 processors and a Radeon 5700 XT, which is based on Navi architecture, which that's the GPU architecture that's going to be in the next-gen consoles, including ray tracing hardware built in. The 5700 XT does not have ray tracing hardware built in. The components run hot. The Zen 2 chips run hot. The GPU runs hot. It, it, they're, it's just hot running tech. You need to have adequate cooling for it, and they can't skimp around on the cooling systems for both the Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5, and that's why when you see the Xbox Series X, it looks like a mini ITX tower because it has the same components you would put in a beefy mini ITX, and that's why it has a giant fan on top of the system because that giant fan will move a lot of air, but at the same time, it doesn't have to get loud. So Sony and Microsoft with these hot components that run hot that I know firsthand from owning the same tech they're putting inside of the consoles, you got to cool it properly. You can't skimp on it. You can't just spend a couple pennies on a cheap fan that just spins really fast because it won't do it and the consoles will overheat. So I'm glad to hear, hopefully there won't be overheating issues. This doesn't guarantee there won't be overheating issues with the PS5 and Xbox Series X, but I'm glad that Sony's taking it seriously and not looking to skimp on the cooling system, so at least there's a decent chance that we won't have overheating issues with the next-gen consoles. This is Rich of Review Tech USA signing out. Have a good one. Hey, if you enjoy my content, consider becoming a Review Tech USA member. I'll have a link below in the description. I live stream now on this channel all the time, and it gives you access to cool emoticons to use as well while I live stream. Again, link below in the description. Thank you for your continued support.